From the halls of Furnace Brook, we have our 2022 to 2023 school year reviews. All of these books were read in advance of publication, and then we turned this into a podcast. I hope you enjoy. The Black Slide by J. W. Ocker. The reviewer rated this book five stars. The reviewer's name is Ella P., and the book is available now. The reviewer thought the book was rated for 10 to 20 ages, either gender, people who like horror and adventure. She thought the book had a satisfying ending, made her cry, made her laugh, and has an exciting plot and interesting characters and uses words and sentences well. Griffin goes down the new slide and finds himself falling through a portal into a world filled with monsters that kidnap kids. Griffin and his friend Layla try to escape. Will they get out? I don't know. I gave it five stars because it gives you all emotions and makes you feel like you are in the book. It was such an excellent book because you get to go into the story, find out the mesmerizing plot, and understand the character's actions. This is the kind of book that I want to find more like it and or a sequel. And she thought she would buy it if the book was 15 to $20. Home Away From Home by Cynthia Lord. He rated it four out of five stars. Available since April 18th, 2023. The reviewer's name is Grady W. And his age is 12 years old. He also wrote, I think it is made for people who love birding. He thought that the book had a satisfying end, it made him laugh, teaches an important lesson, has interesting characters, and uses words and sentences well. He also wrote, this book is about a girl named Mia who is spending time with her grandma and finds a majestic bird. I gave it four stars instead of five because Mia was unlikable for half of the story. You should think about others before yourself. and. He would buy this book if it was less than $15. 39 Clues by Rick Royden. The reviewer rated this book three stars. The viewer's name is Margaret R. The reviewer's age is 13. The reviewer thinks that this book was written for ages 8 to 14, either boys or girls, people who like mysteries and adventure books too. The reviewer thinks that it ends with a cliffhanger, it made them laugh, has an exciting plot, It has interesting characters. The reviewer describes the book as the 39 Clues is being remastered as a graphic novel. The series follows Dan and Amy Cahill as they search the world for 39 Clues to save the world. Along the way, they make both friends and enemies. It's both suspenseful and intriguing, with funny jokes sprinkled in everywhere. Although it might not be for everyone, I can't say I'm a giant fan of mystery myself, I would 100% recommend it. I would also say that the novel version should be read by middle grade students, but the graphic novels can be read um, read by younger audiences. The reviewer says they would buy the book if it was less than $15. Hanging with Vampires by Insha Fitzpatrick. The reviewer gave this book three stars. It is already available in bookstores and the reviewer's name is Noah W. The age of the reviewer is 12. The reviewer thought that it's a good short read for anyone who likes vampires. The plot had multiple tiny stories and also has stuff like how to cook, fill in the blanks, and other mini sections like that. I gave it the rating I did because it wasn't a book that you necessarily read because some are like riddles or recipes, but the mini stories are good and enjoyable. This book made the reviewer laugh, has an exciting plot, has interesting characters, uses words and sentences well. The reviewer would buy the book if it were less than $15. Wait for me by Sarah Shepard. This reviewer rated the book Four stars out of five. This book has already been released in November 2022. The reviewer's name is Sydney S. The reviewer's age is 13. 
They thought the book was for anyone from young adults to adults. More specifically, it may be targeted towards people who like adventure, mystery, romance, and drama. They thought that it had a satisfying ending, that it made them cry, and it made them laugh. They also thought that it had an exciting plot and it had interesting characters. Here is what they wrote about the book. Wait For Me is an exciting, enticing story that I couldn't put down. The only problem I found with the book was that it was a little slow getting into it. Once in, the excitement of the story, however, I didn't want to put it down. I realized in the end that even though the beginning was a little boring, every detail mattered somewhere else in the story. I love mysteries and thrillers myself, so I found it was a good book to leave. I love diving deeper into the plot and finding the unexpected. This book spoke to me on many levels. I could resonate with Casey trying to fit in everywhere she went, and I appreciated the journey she went through to find herself. This story follows the life-changing events of 17-year-old Casey Rhodes. Casey is a very bright girl and is already a sophomore at NYU. Happily dating the rich and well-known Marcus Coleman, she seems to have all that she could ask for. That is until one day. She starts hearing voices in her head. These menacing voices only grow stronger and more prominent in her mind. When it's too much for her to handle, she flees to Avon Shores, a lonely beach town in New Jersey, where no one could bother her. She thought Avon Shores would just be a getaway for a weekend where she could unwind and figure out what was going on with her. The little did she know, she would find much, much more. Family secrets and enticing romance and the truth about her past. Or maybe the truth about her past life. Follow Casey on an adventure to finally get the truth in all aspects of her life. Lies We Sing to the Sea by Sarah Underwood The reviewer rated this book four stars. The book is available now. The reviewer's name is Nathan F. and his age is 12. He thought that the book was rated for young adults who enjoy Greek mythology. The book had a satisfying ending, made him laugh, made him cry, has an exciting plot, interesting characters, and uses words and sentences well. Leto, a young girl on the Greek island of Ithaca. Every year, the kingdom of Ithaca sacrifices 12 girls to the sea god Poseidon. Leto was one of those girls. However, her execution failed. She was then cast away to the island of Pandau, a prison for people who had failed to be sacrificed. There she met Melantho, another girl who had had her execution fail to kill her. Together, they hatched a plan to sail back to Ithaca to murder the prince and stop the sacrifices once and for all. And the reviewer would buy this book if it was 15 to $20. Then Everything Happens at Once by M.E. Girard. The reviewer rated this book three and a half stars out of five. The book became available in bookstores in January of 2023. The reviewer's name is Kylie Z and she is 13 years old. She thinks that this book was written for girls, people who are 16 and older, and people who are insecure about their weight. She said that this book made her laugh, teaches an important lesson, has an exciting plot, has interesting characters, and uses words and sentences as well. She said that this book is about a girl who has never had a boyfriend or kissed anyone, and she wants to be with her friend. Freddie, but her insecurities are holding her back from making a move. I gave us a three and a half stars because I personally loved the book, but due to the graphic content and details, it definitely isn't for people who are not mature. She would buy this book if it was 15 to $20. Leon the Extraordinary by Jamar Nicholas. The reviewer rated this book four stars. The book is available now. The reviewer's name is Tyler C. and his age is 13. The book is written for boy slash girls ages 6 to 13. The book made him laugh, has an exciting plot, and interesting characters. The story is about a boy and his friend and he thought he could be a superhero. I thought it was a great book. I love comic books. They are so fun to read and I love superheroes that save the world. 
I think a lot of people would like this book and have fun reading it. It's a great comic book. And he would buy the book if it was 15 to $20. Big Nate Destined for Awesomeness by Lincoln Pierce. The reviewer rated this book four stars. The book is available now. The reviewer's name is Caitlin M. The reviewer's age is 12. The reviewer thought this book was written for all genders, and she thought that the book had a satisfying ending, ends with a cliffhanger, made her laugh, has an exciting plot, and interesting characters. This book is about Nate Wright, and he is in sixth grade. He usually plays a lot of tricks on people, but now he has four detentions, and there's a rumor that if you get a fifth detention, you get gunted. If and when you get gunted, you will disappear forever. He has to prevent himself from getting another detention. A new kid comes, and Nate is destined to show him around. Little does he know, this new kid is even more of a trickster than Nate. I give it four stars because I like graphic novels, but I also like chapter books. It is an overall four-star book and the reviewer thought that she would buy it if it was 15 to $20. Frances and the Monster by Rafe Tuma. The reviewer rated it three and a half stars out of five. It's already available on bookstores. The name of the reviewer is Josie T and was 11 years old at the time of the review. Josie had said that the book would be best for boys and girls, maybe around 10 and 11 years old, and it is definitely a book for people who like fantasy and action books. Josie also said that it had a satisfying ending, made her cry, has an exciting plot, has interesting characters. This book is about a girl named Frances. She has a kind of nerdy friend with a pet chimp, Fritz, and a very sarcastic and funny robot tutor H-O-B-B-E-S, Hobbes. Together they set out on a quest to find and stop a monster that is doing evil. I would give this book a three and a half out of five. It was very good, though it did have a slow start. At first I thought it was going to be cliche and boring, but as I started to read, I fell in love with the boom and how creative it was. Josie said she would buy the book if it was between 15 and $20. Fox in the Forest by Chen Jia Tong. The reviewer rated this book five stars. The book is available right now. The reviewer's name is Julia P. The reviewer's age is 12. This book was written for age range 11 to 14 because I feel like it could appeal to anyone who likes adventures, animals, and magic. They think it had a satisfying end, ends with a cliffhanger, made them cry, made them laugh, teaches an important lesson, has an exciting plot, has interesting characters, uses words and sentences well. They told us about the plot like this. This is a sequel to the first book, White Fox, Delilah and the Moonstone. It starts where the first book leaves off. The main character, Delilah, is an arctic fox and he wants to become human. He has set off on an adventure to find the arctic fox patron St. Eula's treasure to make him human. Along the way, he makes friends and loses them. He has help from some other animals along the way to point them in the right direction. This book has almost put me into tears and made me laugh out loud. The characters feel so real, I felt their emotions as I read the book. I would read this a million times over and I still wouldn't get bored of it. They would buy the book if it was 15 to $20. The Circus at the End of the Sea by Lori L. Snyder. The reviewer rated this book five stars. The book is available now. The reviewer's age is 11. They think that the book is written for the age range of 12 to 14, and it would be great for both boys and girls. The book had a satisfying ending, ended with a cliffhanger, made the reviewer cry, laugh, teaches an important lesson, has an exciting plot, and interesting characters. The Circus at the End of the Sea by Lori L. Snyder was an amazing book. The reviewer loved it because it had an excellent beginning, middle, and end. The reviewer loved how unique the characters were and how each of them had their own little part of the book. Maddie was a girl with issues about her family because she didn't know where she was from. It spoke to me because Maddie wasn't at all put together. She didn't have friends or a family. She was a great character because sometimes we feel all alone and she was a great symbol to show everything will work out in the end. 
I don't want to give away any more, so you should read the book to find out. A reviewer would buy this book if it was $15 to $20. Star Wars, The High Republic, Path of Deceit. It came out already. The reviewer gave it four out of five stars. And the reviewer's name is Chris H. He is 12 years old. He recommended the book for anybody aged 13 to 14 and maybe even older. He said the book had a satisfying end, has an exciting plot, has interesting characters, uses words and sentences well. This is his review. The outer rim planet, Daln, is focused on because of a stolen force artifact. And Zala Makri and her pod one, Kev Mo Zink, arrive on the world to follow up on a possible missionary group. I gave this rating because usually when I read or watch something Star Wars, I think of the characters from the movies being in the book. It wasn't 100% what I was looking for, but it was still a good book. Would this reviewer buy the book if it was between $15 and $20? He said yes. Exit 13 Motel by James Preller. The reviewer rated this book four stars. The book is available now. The reviewer's name is Charlotte C and their age is 11. And they think that the book was written for anyone of any gender, anyone who likes mystery series with a bit of scare. They thought the book ended with a cliffhanger, has an exciting plot, interesting characters, and uses words and sentences as well. The book is a first book in the series, and the reviewer loved everything about it, but it ended with a cliffhanger. There was some blood. The character Ash was truly relatable. He had a wild imagination and gets spooked very easily. The reviewer loved the part where Ash could hear the forest talking and where he says, they are alive, but dead. It made the reviewer wonder why animals were strange. It was really amazing. And the reviewer did not comment if they would buy the book if it was $15 to $20 or not. Undercover Latina by Aya D. Leon. The reviewer gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. The book is already available in bookstores. And the reviewer's name is Georgia C. And she is... 12 years old. This book was written for girls or either people who like spy books and books about social justice slash racism. The reviewer said that it had a satisfying end and teaches an important lesson, has an exciting plot, and has interesting characters. The reviewer talks about the plot, which is about a 14-year-old girl named Andrea Hernandez Paul Doquin goes undercover as a white girl to befriend the son of a white supremacist. But hiding her identity isn't easy as she thought it would be. Andrea must look, talk, and act like a white girl, which becomes hard when she develops a crush on her target's Latino best friend. I gave this book 4 out of 5 stars because I typically don't read these types of books and some parts were a little slow. Georgia would buy the book, but it would have to be less than $15. A Long Stretch of Bad Days by Mindy McGinnis. The reviewer rated this book 3.5 stars. The book is available now. The reviewer's name is Hans S. and their age is 11. They think the book was written for people above the age of 13 and for people who like thrilling books. The book had a satisfying ending, made the reviewer cry, laugh, has an exciting plot, interesting characters, and uses words and sentences well. The plot of the book is about a girl named Linda who has to investigate a murder that commenced 30 years ago. I gave this book 3.5 stars because the plot was wonderful, but the way it was written was just okay. There was a lot of high school language. It showed me life is not all smiles and nodding, Overall, it is a thrilling book with a twist of mystery, and the reviewer would buy this book if it was $15 to $20. The Oja Waja by Magdalene Visaggio. The reviewer gave it 5 out of 5 stars. The book is already available. The reviewer's name is Logan K., and at the time of the review, he was 11. The reviewer said it had a satisfying end, made him laugh, has an exciting plot, 
has interesting characters, uses words and sentences well. He said, These two girls named Val and Lainey are in eighth grade. Lainey is queer and Val is on the spectrum, so neither fit in. Val is into the supernatural and wants to do a report on it, but things go wrong. It was funny, relatable, and the art style was amazing. I gave it a good rating because A, I love horror, and B, because it's a great book. He would buy the book if it were between $15 and $20. Salt and Sugar by Rebecca K. Vallo. The reviewer rated this book 5 stars. The book is available now. The reviewer's name is LZH and their age is 13. They think the book was written for people 13 to 17 years old, mostly for girls in their opinion. The book ended with a cliffhanger made them cry, laugh, teached an important lesson, has an exciting plot, interesting characters, and uses words and sentences well. The book is about a girl named Laurie Ramirez. Laurie's family owns a bakery called Salt. For generations, Salt has been at war with the Molina's bakery, Sugar. Laurie's grandmother recently passed away, so it was just her mother running the bakery because Laurie doesn't know how to bake. And on top of it all, a, new, a big new supermarket moves into the town and tries to buy Salt and Sugar. Laurie and Pedro Molina become really good friends, and Laurie finds out some things about Pedro that change her whole perspective of the Molina family. This is the first book the reviewers read in since fourth grade, and they really enjoyed it. And the reviewer would buy this book if it was $15 to $20. Change the Game by Colin Kaepernick and Eve Ewig. The reviewer rated it 4 out of 5 stars. It did come out in March, and the reviewer's name is Sophia O. Oh. At the time, she was 12. She recommended the book either for girls or boys, but mostly boys, ages 10 to 14. She said it had a satisfying ending, made her laugh, taught an important lesson, has an exciting plot, has interesting characters, and uses words and sentences well. This amazing graphic novel follows the senior year of professional football player Colin Kaepernick. Kaepernick is incredibly athletic and plays baseball, football, and basketball. He was an incredible baseball pitcher and everyone expected his future to be on the mound. But he really wanted to play football and didn't give up on that dream even when he lost the biggest game of the season. I gave this book a four-star rating because it isn't the genre of book I usually read, so I didn't enjoy it as much as I did Percy Jackson or Harry Potter. I would suggest this comic to any young athlete. This book is incredibly well written and overall I enjoyed it. Sophia said she would buy the book if it was $15 to $20. Legend of Lotus Island, The Guardian Test by Christina Soon Tornvat. The reviewer rated this book three stars. The book is available now. The reviewer's name is Lily C and their age is 13. And they think the book is written for people of ages to eight to 12, either gender, people who like fantasy. The book made them laugh and uses words and sentences well. Plum, a girl from a small island, gets accepted into the Guardian Academy on Lotus Island to learn how to transform into a different type of animal and protect the animals and plants. Plum, after talking to her grandparents, decides to go and meet some of the other students. On the boat ride there, after arriving, they get told the different types of guardians and get sorted into classes. At the first test, what they need to pass to continue going to the Guardian Academy, slowly comes up. Plum almost cheats, but learns to transform with the help of her friends before the end of the full moon. The reviewer thought this book was good, but not their kind of book. They felt like the characters were all pretty flat besides the main character, and the rushed romance at the end of the book made it feel uncomfortable to read. Overall, it felt like something the reviewer would have liked more when they were younger. And the reviewer would buy this book if it was less than $15. The Wonders We Seek by Saudia Faruqi and Anise Mumtaz. They rated the book three and a half stars out of five. The book has been available since June 7th, 2022. The reviewer's name is Jonathan D. 
he was 12 years old and he thought that this book is for 11 plus year old boys and girls and people who like to learn about 30 incredible Muslims who help shape the world. He thought it teaches an important lesson, has interesting characters, and uses words and sentences as well. He wrote that this book is about 30 Muslims who shape the world in a good way. He gave the book three and a half stars because some people may not want to learn about people and what they did. You need to be 11 plus or able to understand because some people think all Muslims are terrorists or bad people and have a prejudice against them. And most people did good things for our world. And if this book was 15 to $20, he said he would buy it. Officer Clossum, Lobster Cop by Brian Smith and Chris Curacao. The reviewer rated this book four to five stars, and this book is already available to purchase in bookstores. The reviewer's name is Liam S. He is 12 years old, and he thinks this book was written for boys and girls, but for mostly elementary students. He said that this book made him laugh and has interesting characters. He said he thinks this is an excellent book because it was funny and full of action. There wasn't one part that I wasn't liking the book, and it spoke to me because it was funny and the plot was interesting. It started as a normal day, but when the donut shop disappeared, it changed, and it was a hunt for what happened to the donut shop. When they found out who it was, the bad guy behind it let out something big that they had to fight to get the donut shop back. Liam would purchase this book if it was 15 to $20. The Wicked Ones by Robin Benway. The reviewer rated it 4 out of 5 stars. The book is currently out. The reviewer's name is Amelia M. At the time, she was 13 years old. She would recommend this book for middle grade to young adult. Girls, siblings, Disney fans, those who like villain retellings. This book had interesting characters and the review she wrote says, the book starts with Anastasia and Drizella's father when he abandons them. Instantly, the reader feels for these poor girls who were so little that present day, they barely remember him. Their lives after this are anything but easy and they're always alone with a cold hearted mother. All they know is that they never want to end up like her Lady Tremaine, an evil, stuck-up woman who has never shown her children love. Their one hope is out of this wretched life they both loathe is the prince, who is having a debut party in a few months. Or at least, that's what they both think. Until both girls meet someone who makes them feel, for the first time in their sad lives, happiness. Drizella meets Madame Lambert, a kind woman scientist who shows Drizella the true meaning of motherly. Anastasia finds love, a funny, nice boy named Dominic. And for the first time, a flame of hope is lit in their hearts. But a small ray of happiness isn't always enough to banish all the darkness, especially with the bound to fail debut ball getting closer and closer. The book switches between Anastasia and Drizella's point of view, yet still written in third person. Ms. Benway has written an unbelievably good novel, one that makes our hearts ache over the evil stepsisters that every Disney fan knows from Cinderella. She made me rethink the whole story and left me caring about the two girls I used to hate. That being said, I do wish the ending could have been different that things could have gone a different route for the sisters. But that could be just me not liking the type of book it is. Or perhaps that means the author did her job extremely well and has made me feel so, so sorry for Anastasia and Drizella. I'm excited for this Disney Dark Ascension series to continue and can't wait to read another. I am also hopeful that this is not the last we see of the two sisters and that they will get their fairy tale ending I now know they deserve. 
Amelia would buy this book if it were between $15 and $20. Crash from Outer Space by Candace Fleming. The reviewer would rate this book a 5 out of 5 stars. This book is already available to buy in bookstores. The reviewer's name is Charlotte and she's 13 years old. She thinks that this book was written for teens and young adults of any gender who are interested in learning about UFOs and aliens. She thought that this book had a satisfying ending and used words and sentences well. A review of this book is that it's really informative and Candace was passionate about this subject. It was written in an easy to swallow form while still giving you the cold hard facts. You would leave this book as a complete expert on the history of UFOs and alien sightings. Charlotte would buy this book if it was ranged $15 to $20. Creatures of the In-Between by Cindy Lynn. The reviewer rated this book 5 out of 5 stars. This book became available in bookstores on April 11th of 2023. The reviewer's name is Cameron W. He is 12 years old um, and he thinks that this book was written for people who like fantasy and magical creatures. He said that this book had a satisfying end has an exciting plot and had interesting characters. The protagonist, Jin, will be inaugurated as emperor as soon as he turns 13, but he doesn't have a monster mate yet, a creature of the in-between magical properties bound to a ruler's side for their lifetime. No emperor has not had a monster mate in all of his kingdom's history. He's never even seen a creature of the in-between before, except for his grandmother's ratty bird. He must venture out to Whisper Island where it said monsters still roam before he turned 13. I personally thought that this book has the best plot and twist to make, one, make it one of the best books I've ever read. It makes things feel so real unless each person has their perceptions on an animal's appearance. Cam would buy this book if it was $15 to $20. Murder of Crows by Kay Ancrum. The reviewer gave this 3 out of 5 stars. The book is already available. The reviewer's name is Gus J. The reviewer's age is 11. He thought that this book was written for people ages 12 and up and people who like mysteries. The book had a satisfying end ends with a cliffhanger, made the reviewer laugh, taught an important lesson, has interesting characters, and uses words and sentences well. The book follows Tig Torres in her hometown, Hollow Falls. Tig is a detective. She uses her darts and her bravery to track down the famous Lit Killer. But will she find him? The reviewer gave it three stars because it didn't have the best plot and characters. It showed him that if you believe, you can succeed. So that's something. He would not buy this book if it was between fifteen and twenty dollars, not even if it were less than fifteen. The Winsby Puzzle by Lewis Lowry. The reviewer rated this book three out of five stars. This book is already available to buy in bookstores. The reviewer's name is Isabella D. She is 13 years old. She thinks that this book is written for people aged 11 and older, or people who like learning about the past. This book had a satisfying ending and teaches an important lesson. She said it has interesting characters and uses words and sentences as well. Bella said that the plot is about a girl named Elstrid who wants to be a Viking. A boy who is an orphan also helps her train to become a viking. The book is based on a true story. Bella gave this book three stars because it was good but it wasn't her type of genre and theme. The book isn't for everyone but it is still a very good book. If this book was less than $15, Bella would purchase it. Arden High, 12th Grade Night by Molly Horton Booth, Stephanie Kate Strom, 
and Jamie Green. The reviewer gave this book four out of five stars. It already is available in bookstores. The reviewer's name is Chloe F. She was 11 years old at the time. The plot of Twelfth Great Night is about a boy named Vi, who she believes is transgender, and goes to a new school with magical creatures and people. All Vi wants to do is fit in and find who he is and maybe a crush. Chloe gave this book a four because she loved the artwork and the characters, but personally, she just didn't find it to be her favorite. The LGBTQ plus was also a great way to add to the story to try to tell people not to be afraid of who they are. She loved the book, and she thinks other readers will too. The book had a satisfying ending. It made Chloe laugh. It has interesting characters. It uses words and sentences well, and Chloe would buy the book if it were 15 to $20. <music> Polar Nights by Jen Kalanita. The reviewer rated this book 4 out of 5 stars. The book became available in bookstores on July 19th of 2022. The reviewer's name is Bryn S. and she is 11 years old. This book was written for boys and girls. The reviewer said that this book had an exciting plot. Um, she said the plot is in Arendelle and the characters are Anna, Elsa, Sven, and Kristoff. What really spoke to me was how I loved Frozen when I was little and reading it now makes me feel so happy on the inside. She would buy this book if it was 15 to $20. Together for Never. The reviewer gave this book four stars. The book is already available in bookstores, and the reviewer's name is Sophia P. At the time of the review, she was 12 years old. Sophia thought that the book was written for girls somewhere from middle school to high school. She thought that because Charlotte and Lily were enemies to each other, all because their popularity in school. In the beginning of the book, Lily is getting bullied by Charlotte and her friends. Charlotte pretends that she doesn't care, but she knows that it's the wrong thing to do. As the book progresses, Lily and Charlotte's lives start to become more entwined. For example, their parents decide to go on a vacation together, except their beach house was only a two-bedroom house. So Charlotte had to share a room with Lily, which was a very big deal to Charlotte because she was enemies with Lily. More toward the end of the book, Charlotte and Lily realize that the amount of fights and drama that they were making was actually tearing a rift in their parents' relationship. This book had a satisfying end. It taught an important lesson, has interesting characters. The reviewer would buy the book if it were less than $15. Opportunity Docs by Sarah Verisand. The reviewer rated this book 4 out of 5 stars. The book already is available. The reviewer's name is Amy L and she is 12 years old. She thinks this book was written for kids that are 10 to 13 years old and like mysteries. She said that this book had a satisfying end, made her laugh, teaches an important lesson, has an exciting plot, has interesting characters, and uses words and sentences well. She said Lila is trying to find her talent in the world. Her superstar sister Parisa and her best friend Melanie have already found their talents and Lila feels left out. Band seems to be the only thing Lila likes, but now the school board decided to cut the funds for it. Lila decided to visit the bank and attempt to get a loan to save the program. The banker doesn't take Lila seriously and she doesn't get a loan. While Lila is leaving, she bumps into a rude man named Mr. Mamenton. Mr. Mamenton leaves the bank but drops a box with a key inside and a message carved into the side. A simple clue for you who holds the key. Remember to unlock the door for opportunity. 
When Lila goes to sleep that night, she is awoken by a strange glowing door and knocking from the other side. When she finally gets the courage to open the door, she is met with a girl of her age who says she is Lila's lucky day. The girl goes by a lot of names, but she says Lila can call her Felice. Felice explains that she will stay with Lila for seven days, and Lila is the luckiest person in the world. But Felice cannot stay over the seven days, or bad things will happen. Mr. Mamatan has not forgotten about the last box, or Lila and will do anything in his power to get it back. I gave the book four stars because I love mysteries and books with a little bit of humor in them. It was an excellent book because it shows kids that if you have, if you work hard enough to do something, you can accomplish anything. The book spoke to me because it showed me I don't have to fit in with everyone else. I can just be myself. Amy would buy this book if it was less than $15. The Lake House by Sarah Beth Durst. The reviewer rated this book 4 out of 5 stars. This book became available in bookstores on April 25th of 2023. The reviewer's name is Abigail L and she is 13 years old. She thinks this book is written for both boys and girls. She said that this book has an exciting plot, has interesting characters, and uses words and sentences well. She says this book is about three girls that are going to attend the summer camp in Maine. When they get to the destination, everything's burnt to ashes. The problem is that the girls are stuck on the island and they found dead bodies around the perimeter. They think there's a killer and they need to escape. I thought that this book was excellent because it has a good amount of murder mystery and realistic fiction in the story. She said that she would buy this book. It was 15 to $20. Officer Clossum, Lobster Cop, by Brian Smitty Smith and Chris Giarusso. The reviewer gave it five out of five stars. The book is already out in bookstores. The reviewer's name is Myla R. She was 13 when she wrote this review. She thought maybe ages 10 to 13 year olds would read this. She'd say it would be for either boy or girl, and or people that like comedy, adventure, and action. The plot of this story is about a special officer, Officer Clossum, and his best friend, Stariana. They work together to stop crime and eat kelp donuts. When they realize that all of the prisoners that they're rounding up are escaping jail, they have to find out how and why. Then a giant shark comes and terrorizes their town. But sharks haven't been in that territory for hundreds of years. After the shark eats kelpies, the kelp donut shop, the shark finds them and uses a grabber arm to get inside. Once inside, they find out who's behind all of this. You'll have to read the story to find out the rest. It ends with a cliffhanger it made the reviewer laugh, taught an important lesson, has an exciting plot, has interesting characters. The reviewer would buy the book if it were between $15 and $20. Parachute Kids by Betty C. Tang. The reviewer rated this book three and a half stars. This book is already available to purchase in bookstores. The reviewer's name is Cameron W. and he's 13 years old. He thinks this book was written for mainly either boys or girls or any kids with Asian heritage or those who want to study it. He said that this book made him cry, teaches an important lesson, and has interesting characters. A summary of this book is that as a reader, he thinks that Parachute Kids is a great book about diversity and learning to live in an unknown world. It mixes modern day and older topics, making a fun, realistic story. But as a Chinese kid himself, he can't help but relate to this story, adding a little extra bias. Now, he didn't move from China or Thailand, but he can feel for what happens to the characters because it does still happen now. The book has another sense of depth, feeling personal to Cam. You can only know the pain of when they mutter Ching Chong, if you've been hurt by it. Cam would buy this book if it was ranged $15 to $20. Dollars. 
Mirror to Mirror by Rajani LaRocca. The reviewer gave it three out of five stars. This book is now available. The reviewer's name is Amelia M. At the time, her age was 12 years old. Amelia thought girls, especially siblings and twins, or those suffering with bad anxiety, would like this book best. Maya and Chaya are twins who do everything together. They want to branch out and try new things, but don't know how the other will feel. In everything she does, Maya is always working really hard and trying her best, but won't accept mistakes. She's starting to have anxiety, and she tries to hide it. Chaya tries to help, interpreting Maya's anxiety wrong, blaming it on herself, and trying to change for Maya. Throughout the book, you find out that deep down, Maya's anxiety isn't just for not being perfect, but for something else, something that Maya believes she did that has given her family a horrible curse. This book had a satisfying end, made the reviewer cry, and teaches an important lesson. The reviewer would buy the book, but only if it were less than $15. My very, 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 very silly book of games by Matt Lucas. The reviewer rated this book five stars. The book is available now. The reviewer's name is Mikkel M, and their age is 12. And they think the book was written for anyone five to 13 years old that likes games. The book made them laugh. The book, My Very, 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 Very Silly Book of Games by Matt Lucas and illustrated by Sarah Horn has lots of games that are funny, silly, and fun to play. There are games to play with lots of people, games to play at home, and games to play on your own. If you're looking for a book of games, this book is perfect. The reviewer thinks the games in the book are the silliest things ever. The games in the book are fun to play, and they help the reviewer not to be bored. So when the reviewer is bored, they could just pick up a game in this book and have lots of fun playing the game. And that's why the reviewer loved the book and thinks that you should read it. The reviewer would buy this book if it was 15 to $20. To Catch a Thief by Martha Brockenbro. The reviewer gave this two stars, which means so so. The book is already available. The reviewer's name is Julia P. She was 13 when she wrote this review. She believes this book is for 8 to 12 year olds, either boys or girls. It is for people who like realistic fiction. The main setting of this book is a small town by the seaside. Everyone knows each other, so when new people move to town, everyone is welcoming. When the town's most precious item is stolen, everyone is on high alert. Because of this, the town's famous festival cannot happen. Will the item be found, or will the thief get away with their crime? I gave the book the rating I did, because I'm not the biggest fan of the genre. I was willing to try it, though. There were some funny parts in the book that I enjoyed. The book only spoke to me in one way, and that was, it was set by the beach. I also enjoy going to the beach. In my opinion, this book was only okay. But I know if I had some of my other friends read it, they would thoroughly enjoy every part of it. The reviewer said the book made her laugh, teaches an important lesson, has interesting characters, uses words and sentences well, but the reviewer would not buy the book if it were between $15 and $20. Strike the Zither by Joan He takes place in the year 414 during the Qin Dynasty. The main character, Zephyr, is the best strategist of the land, serving under Chin Ren, a warlordess. After chaos breaks loose, the realm has been fractured into three fractions, and three warlordesses are hoping to be able to claim all of the continents for themselves. 
Zephyr is forced to gain access to their enemy camp to help Ren's followers from being killed. As Zephyr continues her journey, there are more enemies than just one, and not all of them are what you would expect. The reviewer gave this book 3.5 stars because they enjoyed the adventure and what the book was about, but the book might not be for everyone. After reading the book, the reviewer felt like the author did a good job writing about the Qin Dynasty. The book has an exciting plot, interesting characters, and uses words and sentences as well. And the reviewer would buy this book if it was $15 to $20. I'd like to have a special thank you to all our review readers. There was Meg R, Ella P, Anya Z, Kayleen C, Jonathan D, Logan K, and Nathan F for emotional support. Thank you for listening, everyone. And I hope you tune in next year for what the newest titles are for 2023-2024. Take care.